All right, now Samsung has just reminded me of a very powerful feature which exists on the Galaxy phones through an update on the Galaxy Store. And I thought I will refresh your memories about this particular feature in this video. I have discussed about this in the past, but there are many new uh, Samsung Galaxy phone users on the channel now. So I thought I will again talk about this feature and this will also refresh your memory if you have forgotten about this feature. Now let's go ahead and let me open the Galaxy Store. In the update section, we have got an update for continuity service. And this is a very powerful feature. Now let me tap on this. Now let's check out the latest version here. This is 1.3.03.17 and the update size is just about 7.74 MB. And in the change log, there is nothing mentioned. They just uh, mentioned that we have added new features and stabilized minor issues. Now, I don't think there will be any new features here, but Samsung did enhance this feature on One UI 7 on the Galaxy devices. Now, let me go ahead and update this and let me show you what exactly this feature does and why is it so powerful. So this continuity feature on Samsung Galaxy phones refers to a set of capabilities designed to create a more seamless and integrated experience across your various Samsung devices. It allows you to start a task on one device and easily continue it on another as well as share certain functionalities between them. Let me demonstrate what exactly this can do. Now let's say I'm going through an article on this specific device and I wanted to just copy something here and paste the same content on this device. As you copy it, you can see it says copied from N's S25 Ultra. So that content is available right here on this device, which can be pasted on any of the applications. Let me do this again. I will copy this. It says copied from S25 Ultra. Now let's say I want to paste it. You see on the clipboard, the copied content is available right here. I can just tap on this to paste it right here. It's vice versa. If I copy the content on this device, for example, I will just copy it here. You see it says copied from ENS S24 Ultra. It will be available for this device on which we can paste it. Now let's say I want to copy this image. Let me just copy this image. Let's see if this is available on the clipboard. I'll copy it. Yep, we have got copied from uh, N S25 Ultra notification here. And now I'll be able to just paste it. As you can see, it is available on the clipboard. I paste it and that image is available right here. Now for this, both the phones have to be logged in with the same Samsung account and they have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. And usually we don't do this between the phones. This will be very useful between the tablet and the phone or maybe between the PC, the Samsung PC and the phone. With that ecosystem, this feature will be really useful. Now let me open Samsung Notes application here. Now I got some content on a specific note here. I'm typing something or drawing something on this note. Now on this device, I will go to the Recents application. As you can see, it shows Samsung Notes right here. And when I open it, I will be able to see the same note which I was editing here on this device is now available on this device. So that is another continuity service that we have between the Samsung devices. Now let's say I am typing something on this phone and when I go to the Recents app on this device here and boom, we have got Samsung Notes right here. I can open it. The app gets closed on this device. That particular, uh, uh, that particular note gets closed and that note will be opened up on this device. So if you're working on a tablet and if you want to continue that work on your uh, uh, Samsung phone, then you can use this continuity service. You can just close the tablet on the other side and you can start writing the same content on this device on Samsung Notes application. Likewise, this works on the Samsung internet application as well. Now let's say I'm browsing something here and uh, I go to the Recents application on the other device. You see the internet application is showing up right here on top. I can tap on this to open the same page on this device and continue working on this device. Again, like I said, this really makes sense, especially when you're using a Samsung phone and a tablet or a Samsung phone and a PC or a Samsung tablet and a PC. So uh, it's basically an ecosystem feature. You can stop working on one device and continue the same task on the other device using this feature. And this doesn't stop here. Now let me go to the settings menu here. I will tap on connected devices. Now this is where you will find continue on other device feature. I will tap on this and here you can see we just saw this feature continue apps, continue what uh, you were working on Samsung Notes, Samsung Internet and other applications. It says other apps also. I'm not sure which other app is supporting this continuity service. Uh, so far we have seen Notes and Samsung Internet and we also saw copy and paste feature and then we have got Wi-Fi networks. Wi-Fi networks you have used on your phone or tablet will also appear on your other devices. 
tap the network to connect automatically without entering the password. This is also a pretty cool feature if you've got multiple Samsung devices and let's say you check into a hotel and you have just connected the Wi-Fi network on one device, the rest of the devices can also get the Wi-Fi automatically with this continue on other devices feature. Just try to make sure all these devices are connected with the same Samsung account. And the next one is camera continuity, which is also pretty interesting. It says take pictures and scan documents or handwriting on your phone or tablet, then continue working on them on another device such as tablet or computer. So we can take images on phone or tablet. We can't really do this between the phones. We can take a picture between phone or tablet or you can uh, scan documents and then continue working on them on another device such as tablet or computer. The computer has to be Samsung Galaxy Book uh, or you can continue working on the tablet after scanning an image on your phone's camera or taking an image on the phone's camera. Now I do have a tablet but uh, maybe until I get the uh, One Device 7 on the tablet, I will not be able to get this feature working. So we will have to wait until we get the One Device 7 on the Galaxy Tab S10 uh, uh, Plus that I have got. Once I have it, I will show you guys how exactly this camera continuity feature works. For now, we will have to skip this feature. Now you know how powerful is this feature, especially if you have multiple Samsung Galaxy devices like the tablets, phones, or Galaxy Book, then this feature will come in handy. Let me know what do you think about this feature Feature. Have you used it before? Drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel. I keep posting tips and tricks videos, update related videos and everything that you want to know about your devices. So be sure to subscribe and become a part of this amazing community and give this video a like if you find this video informative and yeah do not forget to download our wallpaper application Wallverse. There are some beautiful wallpapers available both free and premium. Do go ahead and download it. The link is in the description and please do rate it on Play Store that encourages me to keep adding more and more wallpapers for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye bye.